When it comes to state uplands, we know that our first priority is our fiduciary responsibility to the trust beneficiaries, and we make decisions accordingly. We also faced the challenge of deteriorating forest health, particularly in eastern Washington. The changing climate, together with insect infestations and overstock stands, have created a forest health crisis that requires swift action. By working with federal and state appropriators, we were able to secure needed resources to start the restoration work in 2009. Efforts to date have treated over 34,000 acres, but there are hundreds of thousands of acres more to go. We must continue with all haste. Forests that have been treated and restored by thinning are more resilient to drought, also disease, while being less susceptible to catastrophic wildfire. There is an urgent need to continue this work. Acidification is threatening the state's shellfish industry because more acidic water interferes with normal shellfish growth, particularly at early developmental stages. Through participation on the Governor's Blue Ribbon Panel on Ocean Acidification, we learned that this threat is more severe in Washington State than in many other locations and will require significant efforts to protect both farmed and wild marine life. The effect of acidification on the wild buoy duck fishery that we manage for the state is unknown. Many state and tribal programs depend on the revenue derived from this fishery, so not unlike our forests, careful scientific analysis followed by appropriate management actions must be taken. So indeed, our work is cut out for us. A changing climate, perhaps resulting in more severe weather events, coupled with rising temperatures, will make our land management responsibilities more challenging. Add in the high likelihood of more difficult fire seasons, acidifying marine waters, and increased population pressure on state trust lands, and the picture is daunting. Challenging as the future may be, I have every confidence in the DNR team. When fires start, we respond. We put them out. When derelict vessels become a threat, we respond and deconstruct them. When state lands have a difficult timber sale, we figure it out. I could go on. DNR is a can-do agency, and we will continue to be successful throughout the full extent of our considerable mission. In closing, I would like to thank all of the DNR staff for your service to the people of the state and for the positive manner in which you rose to the challenges of the past four years and will undoubtedly do so in the future. I'm proud to be your commissioner. Thank you.